What's poppin' homies, it's your boy Frank Nitty Back in the building, back in the car Cause I'm going somewhere And actually I'm already here I'm at Wesley Chapel You already know what I come to do I'm about to go ahead and film this outlet Today is Tuesday So I'm not sure when this video is gonna be up on YouTube, man So anyways, when you see it, you see it, I guess A lot of people hit me up about those Jordan 2's for $49 I'm about to go inside and see what's poppin' All the people who DM me, I'll hit you up. If I'm still here, you guys respond in time, maybe I can cop those shoes for you. I'm gonna give a test run for those who asked me to pick something up at this outlet since I'm here, it's only right. We still got game rolls dropping this week and then we got Tinker Hatfields as well. We also got the Sean Lynn Spoon Air Max dropping at this month. The three pair of shoes, man, you're looking at close to five, maybe $600 in sneakers in the next couple of days. I'm, you know, I'm easing up on the purchases. You know, Jordan 1's a must cop. Tinker's, ah, uh, it is what it is. If I get it, I cop. And those Air Maxes, I want to have those not that I got to have them. I just want to have them. All right Obviously, I'm gonna wear them not just to have to have them But I would like to win those but I'm not gonna stress this if I don't and neither should you Enough talking Let's go inside and see what's popping follow me All right, yo, it's very windy out here man. and um, yes, and I got a new camera Well, really a new phone because I do a lot of outlet vlogging on my phone so we're gonna see what the quality look like, all right? So don't judge just yet. I'm not gonna boost for how good the quality should look. Let's just hope the quality look good. And on feet, I got those Dover markers. Hope you guys can hear me, man, because I know it's very windy out here. But I'm gonna give you guys another look. There goes the outlet in front of me. So they got the Jordan 1s. Wow. And you still got the Week 13s, though. Jordan section, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. Let's take a look at the hash wall. $80 size 13. Nothing sticks out. Let's look at the basketball joints. Paul George. 90 beans. KDs. 100. I do like these KDs though, man. I like these a lot better. You got some Kobe's hitting for 60. And I have seen these Kobe's a lot cheaper, like less than half. They got them here for 120 though. I hate these LeBrons. Not a bad price if you still like high top shoes though. And these joints are hard pass. You got the 31 still. I remember I saw it with a 30% off. Do they got my size? Yes, for $109. Ah. Uh, on the plane. I want to see what they look like on feet, though. I don't know why I thought I was going to put these on. You got to lace these joints up. I don't know. I just had a... <laughs> my brain just had a lapse. But size 11 have $110. You think it's worth it? You know, I'm a Jordan 1 fiend. I do like Jordan 1, so... And I like this. the best part of the shoe to me. Yo, I actually don't need this shoe right now. I'm sure I could probably find it cheaper. This shoe's not going for too much money, man. So I know it's something I can come up come up on later, rather. And that's pretty much it. Excuse. Nothing special. These are coming down a little lower, though. Currently hitting for 180 beans. I look like they got 3M. Let me check. Yep, do have 3M. $80. Yo, this shoe escaped me for the longest, man. This multicolor fly knit Air Force One. Love it. They got in here for 100 and they got in my size. I really do like this shoe. Do you got the Air Force One Miz and for 90 This green colorway. Leather feels pretty good. And you got this off white color, same price. 90 beans. They got a plethora of them, man. 90 beans. Then you got this gray joint. 130. I thought it was done, but nah. They got the high. But it come out, so 150. Few sizes. I haven't seen this colorway, the Barkley Lowe's, 90 beans, multiple sizes. You also got this tennis shoe right here. Tennis Classic, Frags, 60 beans. Okay, they got the 32s in here, hitting for 100. They also got the twos in here, hitting for 85. And this is the store I caught my twos for $34. And you got the NYC's, 109. But these are all kid sizes though. Multiple sizes in all three shoes. I do like this Air Max right here, 70 beans. And then you also got the worm to shake the trucks, $85. KD's in the building, 90 beans. You do got the pennies. Wow, this is an old school colorway, bro. 90 beans. Air Jordan 1s, 
$60. You got these old Hirachis, more KDs. For the women, this is pretty much all it is. Again, I don't know what to look for, but this is all I could, I could find. Nothing really special going on. But these look like good prices, I think. I do see some Hirachis though. Oh, I do like these fly nets. Dope shoe. I also like this Air Max One Premium for, for you guys. It's like a gray charcoal colorway. But I like the outsole, man. Look at that. It's pretty dope. Uh, not sure the price. Then you got this joint right here. Air Max One SE 70. All right, so these are men runners. I'm not sure what these are called. Zoom all out two lows. Giving you guys a quick description. But that's the shoe. That's that teal green with the white. Not a bad looking shoe. I hope it's not retailing for 140. That's what the price says. And you got these Vapor Max right here. Those are hitting for 160, as you can tell. The women have Vapor Max too, as well. Seven and a half, all the way down to 13. Goodness, that's women, right? 13 women? Nah, it look like a 13 men. Yeah, that look like a 13 men. 12 the biggest size for women. All right, I just left Nike. Probably head over to Adidas. I don't expect to find much in Adidas, but while I'm here, why not, right? Let's make it. This is all I see in here for as far as boosts. These are different. I think these was here last time I was here too, man. They're probably going for retail. Prime knit upper. The tongue looks sway. Full length boost. It's a chunk of boost though. Hope this is showing up on camera. And I do like these right here, as I have mentioned in multiple vlogs. Let me see if I can adjust this. Yeah, man. Hope this show up better. I do like the EQT's boost. Prefer the all black joint with the black boost. Still hunting for a pair. Try and get it below retail. And then you got these, uh, what's this, Gore-Tex? Yeah, with the black boost. Please don't walk like this guy. Try not to crease his shoes, that's crazy. Y'all already seen what I got on feet. I'm joints already crease. Yo, and that's pretty much it for this video, man. I appreciate you guys from rock with your boy. Give you a quick recap. And the Nike outlet, there really wasn't much pop. Those all-star ones, Yo, there was 109, but I could get them laid down the line. Things are readily available everywhere. I'm sure the price can go down cheaper. Those 31s, I passed on those numerous times. I see them cheaper than that. There really wasn't much on the hash walls. Ladies, there really wasn't much. The kids did have some heat, but those prices was going for man prices. Those kids' shoes was going for like adult size pricing. So that's a hard pass. But, you know, saying if you want your kids to have that shoe, the opportunity is yours. Take advantage of it. Also, what do you guys think about these, man? I rock these this day, man. This is the Air Jordan patent leather ones. I call them the patent leather ones. But they are the really the Dover Street Market joints. Patent leather all over. The only hits is the Nike on the tongue and also the midsole. Obviously, it's a clear outsole. I don't know why I showed that far. But it's a white outsole around the trim. Dope shoe. It was a rainy day. So it was only right to bust these out. These did the job. I love these shoes. Love, love, love these shoes. I apologize for getting this video up too late. So I didn't hit anyone up in the IG DMs is because the shoes that they wanted were not available. Those Jordan 2's Destructs, gone. For that price, they weren't gonna last, man. For $44 for the black and tan joints, that shoe probably went really quick. So by the time I got back there, for those who did ask for that shoe, apologize in advance. But in the future, if you see any shoes that you like in my, my up and coming videos, do hit me up in the DMs and we'll work something out where I can copy those shoes. Apologize for the notification if you guys heard that. What else, man? Oh, quick note, man. Your boy's taking this talent across the state. Heading to SneakerCon Bay Area. It's gonna be the first SneakerCon of the year. It's also gonna be my first time that far out West. Never been that far. I've never been past Texas. So it's only right that I go take my talents over there and see what's popping. If you guys are in the building for SneakerCon, you do watch this channel and you see me, I definitely pull up. So love to your boy. I really would appreciate that. And that's all I have for right now. What well, I'm probably going to end up doing while in travel and transit, probably going to upload in a lot of old school videos. Videos that have sitting on the drawing board I never edit. I got like the Thanksgiving Nike outlets. I got the Christmas Nike outlets and some other between Nike outlet vlogs that never got posted. So I might just do a throwback week while I'm commuting to a different state. So look for those videos here shortly. But if you're new to this channel and you like the content you just saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. Everybody else, keep leaving your comments down below and I hope to see you out in SneakerCon if that's all possible, if that is all willing. Until then, y'all, you already know my slogan. Good to go.